One of the more unusual outdoor exhibits at Innotrans 2018 was for the UK's only metro outside London. Stadler's Glasgow subway train is not only built to a non-standard track gauge, but is a small profile train with a walkthrough interior. I asked David Christie, Operations and Security Manager at Strathclyde Partnership for Transport, how the train fits into the wider project to automate the Glasgow subway. Well, the train is one important feature of that project, but um, I should also mention too that we are building a new OCC or control room centre, uh, new signalling systems, uh, we will have platform screen doors. We have already modernised the majority of our stations in anticipation of the, the new train arriving, and from an engineering point of view, we're going to have equipment there as well, at like car washes, train wash and uh, a wheel lathe. So this is a, a part of a, an integral kind of strategy to modernise the whole subway. Automating uh, an entire metro line that was built to be worked with drivers is quite a difficult and ambitious project, but what are the benefits that you see from doing that? Well, absolutely. I mean, obviously, the trains we have there just now are almost 40 years of age and we expend a huge amount of energy and effort and cost maintaining them until the new trains arrive. Um, but the, the plan is that obviously they will be replaced. We will have the new trains in service and in a few years' time and uh, we will phase the old trains out and introduce the new trains as part of that project. And how happy are you to finally see a train being displayed to the public like this? We are absolutely delighted. Um, we've seen drawings, we've seen uh, sheet metal, uh, but to actually see the product live uh, today is super fantastic. The train is interesting to look at from the outside, but what does it look like inside? Stadler's project manager, Stefan Rosendahl, was on hand to answer some questions. How much of a challenge was it to make a train this special? Oh, it was a big challenge because we have to think about a lot of special requirements we have in this system. That's not only the gauge, but it is the first fully automatic train we have in in, in in UK, and so that's a challenge as well. So we need to cooperate with our partners. It's a lot of things to do, so if you really need to engineer this train. And as you say, the first driverless train that yeah. Stadler has produced, do you see this as a potential growth area for the company in the future? Uh, for sure, it's a very important part for us. This is done with a, with a cooperation partner, Ansaldo, but the, in the future we'll do it by ourselves, so that, that's important for us. It's the first step in this market and it's, it will be an important market for us in the future.